Hey y'all, first things first, I shaved my beard because it was getting a little unruly and obviously everything's shut down right now and I am not good at trimming it myself, so I thought maybe I'd grow the mustache, so <laughs> let me know your thoughts on that. But what I wanted to talk about today was this wicked cool washer thing that me and, and Hannah got, or Hannah and I, whatever you want to say. So it's a portable washer, washer spin dryer thing, since we don't have laundry here. Um, and obviously right now everything's shut down, so it worked out that we got this right now. But I thought I'd show you guys how it works. I've used it probably like 10 times now. It's pretty handy. And I was just about to do some laundry, so I thought I would explain how it works. So this is going to be kind of like a piece together video, which I don't really do that much, but I thought it was cool and a good way to review this product. So it is the Zenny Twin Tub Washing Machine, and I'm going to explain how it works. Okay. okay, so this is the wash side, and it has an agitator. And this is the spin dry side. And you put that there, I'll explain all that as I do it. But, so, here's my laundry. I'm gonna put some in, and I'm gonna fill it up with water. So I try and do kind of like shirts and underwear together, and then, I don't really have a lot of pants in here, but I try and do like bigger stuff like pants and sweatshirts together, because they just go better together. Um, so I got some socks and sweatshirts left in there, so I think that'll be good for that. Let's see. Yeah, I try not to do too much with the sweatshirts because they get pretty thick. So you fill it up. This is what I always do. Now I take it from the sink. They do have like a little inlet hose spot, but it doesn't fit on our sink. And a lot of places, videos I've watched doesn't really fit on many sinks. So I just take, this, stretch it up, right? Turn the sink on. Now, it's tiring to hold it down like this, so what I've been doing, closing the lid on it, like that. And then I put the dish detergent on top of it. And I let it fill up. You can see it's filling. And I will come back in a second. So while uh, that's filling, I thought I'd just explain a little bit what I'm gonna do. So for this, I've got two loads to do. So for this load, I'm gonna just walk it through step by step. Next load, I'll try and do like a time-lapse little thing of the process, the whole process so you can see it. Not from my perspective, but from a third perspective. So, and right now I've got Charlie trying to figure out what's going on and Paisley in the window. Get off the counter, you guys, get off the counter. Thank you. All right, so we're still filling, but uh, yeah. I will let you know when it's full. Okay, so now it's full. You can see there's just a little bit of give. I've got my little bit of detergent. Put that in. So Hannah and I, with her sensitivities, we use this free and clear stuff and that works really well. Okay, so I take it to the bathroom, so. Just gonna roll it. This way it can drain into the tub because it has a little drain hole there. So that's what I've been doing. I'm setting it up in the bathroom and letting her do her thing. So plugs in, so that's that's how it runs, obviously, is electricity. I'm getting a small tour of my bathroom right now. Um, okay, let me get back to the other side. So, first things first, you always want to make sure when you fill it up it's on standard, not drain, because drain will empty it out. I've done it a few times where I've actually had it on drain. So, it's a learning curve. Um, anyway, so, got it in there. 15 minutes, and she starts right up. And I can actually show you what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. So we'll be back in 15 minutes, so I'll show you how the spin dryer works. And that's that. So with this washing machine, they recommend doing a rinse cycle after you do the first cycle, which, so you just do the same thing but without the detergent. But 
I was wondering like why from the way my clothes felt, I was like, I don't feel like they need a rinse cycle. I'm not sure if that's for people that use like really strong detergents or something, but so I did a little experiment last week and I did a load where I didn't do the rinse cycle and the clothes feel just the same as when I do the rinse cycle and they don't have any smell because the detergent is scent free. So I'm not sure if that's really just for like the powerful stuff or whatever, but um, so yeah, what I typically do while I'm waiting for that load is a get some random stuff done like dishes but also i got a five gallon bucket so i don't have to unplug it drag about out here back drag it back out here and refill it every time i can just fill it with this from and leave it set up in there so that's what i've been doing in between loads is just filling up this bucket and getting it ready for when i want to do my second load okay so the wash cycle is done so drop down the drain hose Pop it to drain. Watch all the dirty water come out. It's pretty gross, you know? You never see this part of the uh, laundry cycle. Right? Anyhow. So, open these up. So. Now, the spin side is a little bit smaller, so you kind of have to do everything in two sections. So I try and get two even sized loads going on. Everything gets all tangled together in there. And you can see how wet this stuff is going in. Just remember that. That should be good for this side. Maybe a sock. Maybe the socks, okay. So you put down this guard so things don't go flying out. You leave the drain plug open, and you do the spin timer. So you leave that going on for five minutes, and then I'll come back and do the other side. And then I'll start my second one. Got my basket all set up, ready to go. Okay, so spin cycle number one just ended. can see how visibly it's not soaked anymore like it was, if you remember from when I put them in. So I throw them down here in the basket, then I'll hang them up while I do the other side. So I'm gonna load that up. Not a super big load. Let's get her going. So my first cycle's done. I've got my clothes hanging to dry here on hangers. So we don't have a drying rack yet, so but this works pretty well. And honestly, most things are just a little bit damp and usually dry within an hour or two. So I'm um, going to set this up, capture my second load. And uh, yeah, so see you on the flip side. Right, so that's how that works. I'm here surrounded by all of my laundry. Um, well, not all of it, but most of it. I try and do like one a day or so. It really keeps up, especially on like underwear and towels and stuff. Um, just a nice little thing to have. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it was helpful and if you're looking into buying it, got it on Amazon, it was only 120 bucks. So it definitely will save us time and gas and money and on having to go somewhere else to do it. So yeah, um, okay. I'm gonna keep on doing some other things that I need to get done, but uh, my laundry's done now. So hopefully Hannah will be here with me soon and we can give you a proper apartment tour, but I don't wanna give away too much. We haven't really decorated. You can see there's a lot of whiteness, <laughs> so. Um, but we're working on getting her here and her feeling safe. So, okay. I hope you guys are having a good week and talk to you next time.